Greetings! Welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today we are going to take a look at this really special specimen book. So let's go ahead and get started. So this book is really huge. It's a custom order, so it's already spoken for. It is eight and a half by five and a half, and the spine is about uh, three and a half inches or so. So um, let's see. It's got six signatures in there. It is a hollow, hollow back spine. And I just used this really pretty um, stretchy trim as the closure so it'll come all the way off. And the theme of this book is like gothic specimen with a hint of like, um, you know, she wanted some like textures and, and fun things like that. So this is the spine. As you can see, I've added some of my Prima wax to the spine just to kind of grunge it up and make it look like... Um, you know, it's been out in the wild and then this really pretty uh, brooch that's just attached here. I had to remove the back of that. So um, sticking this down was kind of tricky, but <laughs> I think it'll be fine. And then on the back here, we just have some of this beautiful fabric. And so, yeah, the side view looks kind of like this. I don't know if you've seen my Instagram, but you can see all these really cute little like, um, I'm calling them like gothic animal charms. So I think those are really cool and I've had those forever and just been waiting for the right time to use them. There's a little leaf charm here as well. So yeah, those are the charms. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. This is a big book, so I wanna keep it moving. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So there, there is a little bit of space for writing. She said that she will do some, but not a whole lot. So there are some tags in here. I like to write on these back areas also in my journals, but that's just me. There's um, some textile collages as well. These pages are actually stained by myself and they are the originals. However, I will have a digital for this in my Etsy shop. If it's already there, I will put it on the screen here. But I do have the one that the, the printables like this that I made previously in my India inspired books. Those are already available, but these will be up soon because they're a little bit darker and, and tones less vibrant than the other. So as you can see, I have used, it is gothic, and I have also used some kind of rich colors to complement this very rich and jewel, jewel tone type colors. This is a fabric tag. I was finally able to use this paper. I've been waiting forever <laughs> for the perfect project, and this was it. So this little uh, beetle down here, I've tried to use my Prima waxes on him to make them kind of reflective like beetles are. Um, that was tricky, but I, th I like the way it looks. So some space for writing. These are my little specimen page tabs. You might have also seen this on Instagram, but they're see-through. I've just attached them onto the page like little tabs. So they're really super cute. <laughs> little leaf insect here and the information about it. And then a big tag in here. I've used some little specimen style labels here and there. So um, she can write whatever she wants on those. Added some, some writing space as well. And another tag here, starting out the second signature. Another tag with some of that same fabric that's on the front. And we'll just flip the page. Another collage here. tag these came from the lady who did um, she, she makes her stained glass so these were her stencils I guess I don't know what she uses them for or used them for but that's where they came from but I thought they were really perfect for this book another tag Thank you. 
this is some um, tissue paper that I had gotten in an order. And so I love these because I just folded it up like an envelope, but I backed it. Where was I? <laughs> right here. I backed it with some lightweight coffee stained paper and I love the way this like looks and feels really nice and interesting uh, writing spot so here here we have a little tag and then this flips open and then you have some more back here couple of tags in here and another specimen label I'm really happy with the way this book turned out but it was kind of a challenge for me to really kind of wrap my head around this for some reason but I'm really really happy with the way that it ends up looking so this is some wax paper that comes from Lisa. So I've used this before. I'll link her again. Um, but I just did fold this up like a little envelope and I just did a little collage on the front with some little field notes kind of pieces and left the inside like this so you can seal it up and use it as an envelope or you can paint in here and write on it or whatever you want to do. Here I just made a little booklet using up some scrap papers, just a plain little booklet for some more writing space. These papers turned out so good and on the originals you'll be able to see the reflective gold much better than you will on the digitals but it's still going to look cool. pocket tag here, little brain collage. Here I just stitched on some little butterflies to make them look like little um, samples, specimen samples. There's a pocket here with just a journaling card. And then in the center here, these envelopes were inspired by Martania. She's got a cool uh, video for how to make these really neat pockets using tracing paper or vellum in the center. So what I did was I colored the tracing paper and then I just used the method of having cardstock on the side and then just folded it up like an envelope. But I love this because uh, when you hold it up to the light, you can see through it and it looks so cool. So I definitely will be using this a lot, but um, you can do journaling here on the side if you want to, or if you don't care about opening it to look at the pretty colors, you can just seal it, seal it up. But I really love this piece so much. So in here, what do we have? A big tag. So just a little writing space here on the back of there. And there's a little skeleton leaf and then a big collage tag. This little bug I colored. I used some of those new stickers that came out for this Halloween. And I love this little piece of paper. It's just so thin, it's almost like tissue. So here we have what the corner hugger that you saw me make, the specimen corner hugger. So here it is. This is where it's going to live, right in this book. There's another little specimen tag. It's got a little bug in there. Oh, this is a, a tag, and then I just collage that on there because on this side you have a little specimen window on the page here. I think that looks really neat. And I crinkled up this tag, <laughs> but that's okay. It gives it character. That's what I say. <laughs> so here I just made this little specimen piece, and this is one of the flowers that I dried and pressed myself. 
Um, and then I just use my embossing pen to do some little scribblings and, and then I embossed it with like a white embossing. And then you can write on the back of this with a gel pen if you want to. Big tag. Some really pretty gold reflection there. Sticker. Trying to go fast, but this is a really, really big book. <laughs> New stickers there as well. Here's a little tuck spot with a tag. And a couple more here. There's some more of that pretty fabric. Another tag. And then here, this is just a little envelope that I made. I tucked it in here. I love this book page here. It really reminds me of like a dark forest. And then here we have another big tag. This is another fabric tag here. This fabric is neat. It feels like soft, like um, silk or something. Another specimen label, a belly band with a tag here. And we have one more tag. And this is the third little specimen tab that I've included in. And then this is just a little piece that I made. It's got two little Tim Holtz tickets in there. Oh, this is another one of Martanya's tutorials. So I will link this uh, tutorial she has below. And then I just made this little uh, specimen little slide you can journal on the back of. There's the other of those stencil tags and then got a big book page here over in the meadow and uh, just and then this little bug that's here on the belly band I also colored, uh, colored that little moth in. Here's Martanya's pocket, so you can see how it has the little window here where you can see through, and then I just have a butterfly tag in there. It's another one of these envelopes, and I've just latched it on to the side and then this is coffee stained paper so a big journaling spot there and I love it on this page because it matches perfectly with the staining that I did on that page. There's another specimen tag. Those are release the crafting. I'll link her below. This is the last signature here. I backed the inside of this because um, what, what the paper was didn't really match. There's an old calendar there. Some more of those butterflies I stitched along. And I did do them so they're kind of like ever so lightly off the page. So they're almost like a tab. I just didn't want them to get bent, so I only I did it slightly. Some old ledger paper there. Some human body specimens. Another tag, Tsunami Rose. I'll try and link some of these digis below, whatever I can remember. Um, if you see something, as always, just leave a comment down below and, and ask me. There's one more tag in here. And there's the back. And that is it. So that is this big mamma jamma <laughs> 
took me forever to do, but I really am happy with the way that this one turned out and I hope that she enjoys it as much. I have a few more books that are going to be coming up soon. Some of them are custom orders and then I also like to try and include as much as I can um, that will be available in the Etsy, Etsy shop for you guys as well. So stay tuned for whatever is going to be coming up. So all right everyone, that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, to the loo.